When you're working with primary cells, you want to ensure the viability and recovery. Here's a couple of tips and tricks for efficient cell culturing that will help you get the most cells from your vial. While these tips apply to most cell types, you should always refer to the product manual for your specific cell type. Start by prepping your space and materials. You will need a 37C water bath and standard tissue culture flasks and pipettes. Prepare the basal media and supplements for your particular cells by following the product manual and label and date all medium bottles. Protect your hands and eyes when you pick up the cell vial from the storage tank. Promptly place the frozen cryo vial into a 37C water bath and submerge the lower half of the vial for about two to three minutes to thaw the cells. Make sure not to wait too long. You should see small ice crystals remaining in the vial. Wipe the outside of the vial with disinfecting agent and transfer the vial to the tissue culture hood. Gently pipette the thawed cell suspension up and down to mix using a one mil pipette. Remove 20 microliters from the vial and add this to a separate tube that contains 20 microliters of tripan blue solution. Use the same one mil pipette to remove the remaining cells from the original cryo vial and dilute into four milliliters of supplemented medium in a 50 milliliter conical tube. This step reduces the cell's exposure to DMSO in the cryomedia. Use a Countess automated cell counter or hemocytometer to determine the number of viable cells per mil in the cryovial. Remember that the calculated cell concentration should be divided by five because we diluted the original cell stock. Finally, Use the supplemented media you prepared earlier to dilute the cells to the recommended plating density. This is typically 2,500 to 5,000 cells per centimeter squared. When you plate the cells, add your cell suspension to the culture flask. Swirl the medium in the flasks to distribute the cells evenly so they won't grow in uneven patterns. Loosen the caps for efficient gas exchange if you are not using vented filter caps. Incubate your cells overnight and don't disturb them for at least 24 hours after the culture has been started. The first media change should happen 24 to 36 hours after starting the culture and again every 48 hours until 50% confluency is reached. Once 50% confluency is reached, change the media every 24 hours until the culture is approximately 80% confluent. This feeding schedule promotes healthy mitotic cultures. It's important to not let cells overgrow because this can reduce cell growth and cause contact inhibition. Avoid pipetting directly onto the culture surface when you are feeding cells. Turn the flask on its side or invert it while pipetting.